I'm Gareth Kane and welcome to Ask Gareth. The idea here is very simple. You ask me questions about corporate social responsibility or sustainability and I answer them the clues in the name. And the question this time comes from Ben Green who works in the energy sector. And Ben writes, Dear Gareth, Gareth is it important to define and separate sustainability from environmental measures in a business? Good question, Ben. And what he's getting at here is that most definitions of sustainability encapsulate three pillars, society, the environment and the economy. And the idea is we can't have sustainability without having those three pillars in a very healthy state. However, many people, including myself, when we talk about sustainability in a looser sense, are mainly talking about environmental sustainability. So, to answer Ben's question, is this a problem? Well, here's three thoughts that sort of ground my thinking around this. And the first one is, Ben is absolutely right, you cannot ignore either social or environmental issues. You see, those three pillars of sustainability are also the three pillars of your business. And if you think about it, you know, if we got to the absurd situation of trying to take one of those away, your business couldn't exist. It can't exist without the wider economy, without suppliers and consumer uh, customers and banks and, uh, you know, all those things that make the economy function. If you, same with society. If you took away society magically, then you'd have no consumers, no employees and none of those um, sort of public sector services that we all rely on, like law enforcement. Thirdly, you couldn't survive without the environment because you need raw materials, you need energy, you need waste disposal, you need um, water, you need a stable environment, and you need people who wouldn't survive either to, you know, to form part of the business. So it's, it's absurd, as I've illustrated with my rather, rather childish example, to take any of those three things away. In fact, we have to nurture all of them. Now, secondly, there is no right or wrong definition of sustainability. You can define it how you like. Yeah? It's up to what works for you and what works for your audience. So if you want to use sustainability, as I often do, to mean environmental sustainability, do that. If you want corporate social responsibility to mainly focus on social responsibility, then do that. It doesn't matter. Or if you want to take one of the, either of those phrases and make it mean both environmental and social responsibility, you can do that too. There's no hard and fast rule. Do what works for you. But don't forget point one, you can't forget social environmental sustainability. You do have to address all three pillars one way or another. Now my third point, which is important, is not to chase the holy grail. Because some projects you do won't hit all three pillars. And that doesn't mean they're not worthwhile. You know, back 15, 20 years ago, when public sector bodies started talking about sustainable development, um, they kept trying to find examples and case studies that would hit all three buttons. And they struggled to do it. So we ended up with case study after case study after case study about community recycling schemes because they had economic benefit, the environmental benefit, and the social benefit. Now, I've got nothing against community recycling schemes. In fact, I think they're a brilliant idea. But they are not going to, on their own, scale up to a sustainable circular economy or indeed tackle global inequalities. You know, those are much bigger issues. Um, so this idea that everything has to hit all three becomes a bit ludicrous and uh, a blinkered approach like these public sector organisations were doing can lead you up a blind alley. If you're only hitting two pillars with a project, don't worry, that's pretty good. Okay, then the triple bottom line here is society, environment, economy are all vital pillars for your business. How you strengthen them is more important than any definition. Okay, Ben, I hope that answers your question. Could be quite a controversial one. So everybody else, if you have a contribution you want to make, make it in the comments here below the video. If you find this video useful or interesting, thought-provoking, then please do share it with your social networks. And don't forget to go to www.terrainfarma.co.uk, as you can see below me here on the screen, and sign up to the Low Carbon Agenda, which is my monthly email bulletin, which will give you every episode of Ask Gareth and a whole lot of other stuff besides. And remember, 
whether you're making tiny incremental changes in the environmental performance of your business or your social performance, or facilitating massive step changes to sustainability, it all counts. You're making the world a better place and you should be proud of yourself. Till next time, goodbye.